A reading from Exodus, the 24th chapter. Then he said to Moses, Go up to the Lord, you and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, and seventy of Israel's elders, and bow and worship at a distance. Moses alone is to approach the Lord, but the others are not to approach, and the people are not to go up with him. Moses came and told the people all the commands of the Lord and all the ordinances. Then all the people responded with a single voice, We will do everything that the Lord has commanded. And Moses wrote down all the words of the Lord. He rose early the next morning and set up an altar and twelve pillars for the twelve tribes of Israel at the base of the mountain. Then he sent out young Israelite men, and they offered burnt offerings and sacrificed bulls as fellowship offerings to the Lord. Moses took half the blood and set it in basins, and the other half of the blood he splattered on the altar. He then took the covenant scroll and read it to the people. They responded, We will do and obey all that the Lord has commanded. Moses took the blood, splattered it on the people, and said, This is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you concerning all these words. Then Moses went up with Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and seventy of Israel's elders, and they saw the God of Israel. Beneath his feet was something like a pavement made of lapis lazuli, as clear as the sky itself. God did not harm the Israelite nobles. They saw him, and they ate, and they drank. The Lord said to Moses, Come up to me on the mountain and stay there, so that I may give you the stone tablets with the law and commandments I have written for their instruction. So Moses arose with his assistant Joshua and went up the mountain of God. He told the elders, Wait here for us until we return to you. Aaron and Hur are here with you. Whoever has a dispute should go to them. When Moses went up to the mountain, the cloud covered it. The glory of the Lord settled on Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it for six days. On the seventh day, he called to Moses from the cloud. The appearance of the Lord's glory to the Israelites was like consuming fire on the mountaintop. Moses entered the cloud as he went up the mountain, and he remained on the mountain forty days and forty nights. Beloved is where we begin. If you would enter into the wilderness, do not begin without a blessing. Do not leave without hearing who you are. Beloved, named by the one who has traveled this path before you, do not go without letting it echo in your ears. And if you find it is hard to let it into your heart, do not despair. That is what this journey is for. I cannot promise this blessing will free you from danger, from fear, from hunger or thirst, from the scorching of sun or the fall of the night, but I can tell you that on this path there will be help. I can tell you that on this way there will be rest. I can tell you that you will know the strange graces that come to our aid only on a road such as this, that fly to meet us bearing comfort and strength, that come alongside us for no other cause than to lean themselves toward our ear and with wither curious insistence whisper our name, Beloved, Beloved, Beloved.